A brand new selection pack is finally here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and it's introduced one of the top five decks in the game. And I'm not playing it. That's right, the all-new pack didn't just introduce crazy support for Super Heavy Samurais, it also introduced the Gold Pride archetype. And despite not being super heavy, but still remaining super expensive, I've decided to give this deck list a shot. So, will we get any wins climbing up the rank ladder with Gold Pride? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out today. Okay, let's get into our first duel of the video here. We are running with that Punk Gold Pride branded engine. I'm going to walk you through how it works, why it works, and why I think it's the best way to play the game. Although, granted, my deck list is a little bit different than, um, you know, some other deck lists out there. It's probably a little bit worse, but, uh, you know, it just works for me. Can we win the first coin toss? We don't, which means we're not going first, which means I hope we get some hand traps, man. I really hope. Oh, second. So Gold Pride, at least this deck, isn't really one you want to be going second with, especially Especially with all the stuff going at least we got you know we got droll and lockbird so it's not like we're completely helpless this could shut down a few decks a ghost ogre and snow rabbit not the best hand trap to draw and we only run one of these because it is searchable in certain scenarios if you would want that and we also open up with a trap card here so that's pretty unfortunate mm, mm. i hope you add a card to your hand relatively early and let me draw that real quick let me draw lockbird out could this be it are we just going up against a few back a lot of back row a lot of back row all right well he just <laughs> He just blind fired the allure? Blind fire allure? I know you're crazy, bro. What? You are a bit different, huh? It's a thunder dragon deck, man. I d man. What is this, man? He just, he just, my guy froze. He, he deadass hasn't dueled for 40 minutes. That's crazy. And we draw into Leon. This hand is a little, a little different. Uh, again, we want to start with our punk engine. We go into Ziamin, uh, even though we can only really go into Foxy here, but that should be fine. Also, our opponent has some trap cards back there. We know he don't got any hand traps. He threw, he threw his one away. So how can he stop us? Any imperms? What do you got here that can play around this? Uh, realistically, we don't want to go second because it just risks having too many negates on the board for us to play through especially with a hand like ours but hey if he doesn't stop us we're gonna go ahead and grab foxy tune and activate its second effect foxy tune second effects allows us to ditch one card in our hand and honestly i'm ditching ghost ogre i know hey look i know it's a hand trap but do we re called by okay so we we can't play around with five that's honestly still okay only because of the cards we have oh also i'm stupid why would i not ditch captain carry i almost made a huge mistake thank honestly thank you for playing around my mistake i was gonna make a mistake still this is fine now we're just gonna go ahead and um honestly this is kind of crazy we're just gonna special summon the captain carry and grab another trap card what does he have to stop this you already used the call by bro Normally, I put it in defense position, but what am I really afraid of? Captain Carry's effect is going to go off. Normally, this is how we would search our one copy of the trap card, but I actually run two. <laughs> I knew my bad deck construction was going to get... All right, so I'm not going to be able to exceed summon now, which is a little bit of a shame. But hey, to start your engines, I'm not even really that worried about it, honestly. And you know what? Because this guy did me like that, I might have to hit him with the... Well, do I want to lower his life points to be lower than mine, though? It might be smarter to just keep Leon in the hand. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't actually want to hit this guy, I don't think. I could Synchro Summon, but he wouldn't... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get Leon out here anyway. We're going to put him in defense mode, though, because we don't want to swing. Or at least I don't want to swing. Droll and Lockbird, Ghost Ogre. We're going to leave the game state exactly like this. I think you could have swung if you really wanted to. It's not really going to matter going on his turn. Well, we'd be able to lower ours again anyway. But I'm just feeling very confident that he doesn't have much to go off here. Thunder Dragon. Oh, get ready for this one, buddy. Get ready for this one, buddy. GG! <laughs> what are you going to do now? The duel's over. The duel's already over. I know you got to say, Allure of Darkness, he's get the arre officer, arrest this man. He's trying to gamble. Who is this guy? Does Dharma Cannon flip forever? Oh, just once? Bro, what are you doing? What is you doing? And thank you, Ash Blossom. Thank you for showing up to the party, man. Hold on, let me get Ziamine out here. Hold on, let me get Captain Carry out here. Hold on, let me Ziamine to lower my life points. Ugh, I'm not going to discard anything. And uh, honestly, I'm just going to get the Shira because I normal summon it. Oh, I'm doing my combo, but late. All right, hold on, everybody. Let me show you what this would have looked like. We know he's got nothing in hand. We know he has nothing. I'm going to pay 600 life points with Shira Kazai and immediately go into Rising Carp. Rising Carp will replace Ziamine and Shira Kazai hits the field in defense position not like it really matters it's just he, he's here for a good time not a long time 
Z Amine effect is kind of useless right now, so we, we just don't. Rising Carp activates effect, and we're going to replace that with Deer Note. Yes, we're also going to special summon Wagon. Boom. Wagon. I mean, Deer Note, Wagon. You can do it any order you want. Uh, I am going to get a spell card. We're going to go ahead and get Extreme Jam Session. You run one of these in the deck because, uh, you know, it's just a little bonus. Just a little bonus to the punk engine, of course. And now we make our real play. With Deer Note and Wagon on the board, you want to go into Jam Dragon Drive. Jam Dragon Drive is going to get these two. And up next, you're going to want to see something very important. You don't want to mess this part up. Jam Dragon Drive on Summon. Boom. We've got two effects to activate. Always go with the Graveyard. Deer Note. Gonna go ahead and ditch a... Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, we get Shirika's Eye on the board. And then Jam Dragon Drive. We're gonna ditch a level three from our deck to the graveyard. That card is gonna be none other than Nyan Nyan. Let me show you in a sec. So Nyan Nyan hits the graveyard. We don't add it to hand. The reason we want it in the graveyard is because on special summon of this level three, and normally this is where we would kind of do our thing. Also, give me that 600 life points real quick. And then Nyan Nyan also gets special summon from the graveyard because we special summon another level three. So very intricate there. You do wanna get, get him out of here. Here, get him out. I was mid combo. I didn't even get to show off the gold pride part of the deck list. <laughs> but then normally because of those level threes, you would start popping off with gold prides. Although we were already kind of done. I think we could have made 8,000 life points happen there. I think. Let's go into duel two now because that's not always how it's going to look. We kind of just droll and lock birded that guy and uh, he just had to go next. But yeah, pretty good hand for us, especially going second. And now we don't have to go second. So I'm, I'm feeling a little more comfortable. But the question on everybody's mind, will my hand be good enough to play through some interrupt? Options. It's looking it's looking likely. So we did draw the gold pride better luck next time. That's a starter in and of itself. But we're actually gonna go with Terror Top here for a second. So Terror Top allows us to special summon it and then also lets us special summon another level three. So you know where you know where we're going with this one. We're going into our rank three. Except we're not going into our rank three. We actually do get an Ash Blossom out here, which is why I wanted to start with Terra. Maxi makes this a little interesting. Maxi definitely makes that a little interesting. I feel like he knows I'm on Gold Pride, and that is definitely a little interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. So in this situation, I mean, what do I do, you know? What do I do? I think... I don't want to give him any draws. I kind of want to leave him with that because I do have some hand traps in my hand to stop him from going too crazy. I'm not even going to special summon this. I know this is crazy. I'm going to normal summon and then just special summon, I think. We're going to give him one. Normal summon Captain Carry. This is only for the effect of getting our trap card. Our trap card's really good. It gives us one um, little stoppage point. So we're going to set that down. We're not going to go into a rank three and I will give him one special summon only because I really want Rollerballer at least on the board. Just, but do I even do that? But I can't guarantee I'll get a Rollerballer off the side switch. So I'll give him one. I'll give him one. We're going to give him one draw. We're not going to do anything about it. We're not going to activate Rollerballer's effect. That's a little surprise for the second half of this video, but that's it. So our board looks pretty bad. I get that. But what I'm not telling you is Rollerball has a little bit of that. That negation built in him. He's got a little bit of that nah, I'd win in him. But all we can do is hope I didn't give our opponent too much gas and uh, play around Maxi and Droll and Lockbird and, you know, hope that our Maxi scares him like his scared us and hope that Droll and Lockbird is there to lock him down anyway. That's all we can hope for. And then we have a monster destruction and then we have some mon the double monster absorption. But that's it. That's all we got. We also can go into a synchro play. I won't explain how. <laughs> but basically, it's because of start your engines. Well, what's he gonna play? How do you get around the gold pride board of three monsters? How do you beat Speedroid Terror Top, Captain Carry, and also Rollerballer, my favorite of the gold prides? I don't even think Bro wants to play. He's trying to solve the board. He's trying to get around this trap card. Oh, big mistake. I'll chain Maxi to this. We're going to chain Maxi off this just in case he has like a called by or something because I'd rather Droll and Lockbird him off this. No? Oh, brother bear. It's looking good. Rivalry of the Warlords. That's not good. He's playing ooh, skill drain. Oh my God. This guy's scary, bro. This guy is a fiend, man. Does Droll and Lockbird even do anything to these guys? I hope so. Hey, uh, nice card that you added to your hand, man. Do you do you mind if I uh, do you mind if I um, hit you with the Droll and Lockbird? Never again. You add no more cards, but go ahead and feel free to special summon. Did you have the called by? I know you didn't add the called by, so did you just have it? Oh. 
Oh, drolling Lockbird moment in gaming. Oh, hit him with it. Yeah, say, say your trap cards, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Say your trap cards. This is still probably really bad for me. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. This is still... What you doing with that one? Hold on. Should I just absorption that? I don't know if I want to absorption that. I kind of want to absorption that, though. I ain't even going to lie. I can't even lie to you. I kind of just want to steal that. Would I be able to with Pinballer? Hold on. Can I target anything he has? Uh, only face up monsters. He's playing around Pinballer. This He's good. He knows everything about my deck. Ah, Leon. Uh, well, to be honest, I guess I'm just going to go into... Ooh, ooh, but I could get a little crazy on him. All right, so maybe this is a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, Do I want to do that, though? I kind of want to hit him with the Zeus. But would that even matter? I don't really know. Monster effects, we could negate that. We don't really need Chariot Carry right now. I don't think there's a way for me to get 8,000. So is the better play just to hit him with the Zeus? But he can definitely destroy a monster, bro. You know what? I am going to make the Chariot Carry just to send to the Graveyard Effect. I'm going to leave it in face-up attack, too. Why not? Let's see how he plays around this. And then maybe we can adjust Rollerballer. Please sit this one out, man. I, I do not need you right now. We've got Leon in the hand, so we can make up for any big mistakes with this. That's kind of why I wanted to take this line. Although, I am open to the fact that this is probably not very good. I would like to see how a Gold Pride player would play this. Special Summon 1 Labyrinth Monster from hand to deck. Yep. Pretty much expected there. And then Dogmatica Punish. Okay, he's gonna get a little draw off this chariot carry. This is still okay. I still don't mind that too much. I'm glad I run two versions of this trap card. I feel like that allows me to get a little a little crazy with it. So he's gonna summon this. That's okay. I I'm a little worried about the hand effect. I mean, what is he gonna target here? Better luck next time. I guess that's the best bet. So actually, to be uh, well, this is gonna add a card to my hand. So really, uh, I guess we have to hope for another Leon, right? He can only destroy one. We have to get lucky on this. We can get the Leon, or I can do the fusion effect, but I don't think that would stop it in time. Gold Pride, start your engines. Let's see if we can play around this. I'm going to throw in probably another carry, though. Not sure what my opponent is thinking right now, but thinking is scary. I know his hand. I know he's got good trap cards, bro. Oh, he's ditching his own monster. That still lets me get my things, though. Spell cards? I don't got no spell cards in my hand, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to draw any spell cards either, if I'm being honest. So Gold Pride, better luck next time is gone. I can't get any spell cards because that's just crazy, bro. Eradicator Epidemic Virus is a little nuts. Start your engines. I still get my three. I'm going to go with these and then a carry for the trap card. So carry, Leon, Leon. We're fine with either of these. A Leon will lead to a carry anyway. So we do still want Leon. And we get a Leon, baby. And we do get a Leon. I just summon this. It's still our turn. As hard as it is to imagine, this, this is still blue, which means it's still our turn to duel. I'm going to leave it in face-up attack. And it's gone. And Leon effect doesn't even go off. That's crazy. But he didn't get to blow up my hand. Does he not get to blow up my hand or what's happening? Bro, please don't take it away, man. This is so cheap, bro. I can't. That was a good little line from you. I can't even. Oh, you didn't get my second one. <laughs> Yes, yes. Thank you so much for starting my engines. Leon, hit the board. Leon effect activates. Leon allows us to target one non-warrior gold pry. We're going to go with Carrie. Carrie's going to hit the board. Carrie hits the board. Uh, Carrie allows us to get a trap card as well. Trap card from deck to hand. Now, how does Eradicator Virus work? All, spell, all cards they draw until the end of their third turn. Does adding a card to hand count as drawing? Is that how it works? Am I about to be pissed? What should I do? I think I'm about to be pissed. I ain't even gonna lie. So we can go into Star Leon or Chariot Carry. Um, well, actually 1800. How much damage could we get on the board here? Probably not not enough to make it worth it doing that. Ah, uh, do I do this? It's so risky. What if, what if it doesn't work like how I think it works, bro? Then I'm just done for. All right, Chariot Carry in attack mode. We're just gonna put it in attack mode. Why not? I don't know. And now we're gonna see if I'm gonna be sad. We're gonna see if I'm gonna be sad here in a second i don't know how this works i'll be honest my Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge is limited does eradicator stop me from adding a card to hand please are we safe are we safe and sound dude do i want to send a card from my deck to the graveyard if i do i guess i'll just send nitro head why not captain carry don't activate Rollerballer don't activate. And it doesn't work like that. Yes. Better luck next time gets to come to the board anyway. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Do we get to play though? We do have another start your engine. So I do want to leave at least three in there. Um, Could I add a carrier? You can only use this once per turn, right? I'll add it. Why not? Leon to the hand. You know, I got a normal summon that. We don't get the effect, but that's still fine. Because, uh, again, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Do I want to do as much damage as possible? 18, 19, 15. Why not, right? Why, why not swing on this guy? Why not swing on this guy? I know we want our life points a little lower, but let's get him sweating a little bit. Let's get him sweating just a tad bit. So you're just toxic, bro. You're just toxic, man. I understand. 
Do I want to pop him right now, though? Because I can just pinballer him and get him out of here. But then I lose my... Well, I guess I kind of have to pinballer him. Actually, no, I don't. There's no rules against having to pinballer him right now. There really isn't any rules about having to pinballer him right now. I don't know what's optimal. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, bro. This duel has been testing my, my thinking ability. Chariot carry is going to work. We're going to get another carry out here. Sadly, we've um, exhausted our trap card options. So do we want carry from the graveyard or from the hand? Let's just do from deck to hand. Why not? Let's hope that we can draw another hand trap. Better luck next time. Can I get that draw, though? Can I get that draw? Maxi, I'll take it. I'll take that. Decent enough hand trap as they come. Um, you know, give us some draw. Hopefully we uh, we get to use it. This is kind of what I was waiting for though, because if possible, I really don't mind getting the fusion for the double tap. And also we have gold pride starter engines. So hopefully we left three gold prides in the deck. I think I did my math right. Let's let's count. Uh, we Oh, we might not. We, we might not. I, honestly, I'm not sure. All right, we know he can special summon, so let's just let him do it first. Chain Maxi, guys. We don't want to shotgun it right now. We want to chain this. Gold Pride Leon, don't do anything just yet. Watch the main phase one. Keep our eyes on the prize here. It's before the end of the main phase. God damn it. All right, because it's before the end of the main phase, we're going to use Gold Pride Leon's effect here. We're going to do some special summoning. We're going to synchro on his turn. That's how fast we are, bro. That's how fast we are. We're synchroing it up. We're just going to go into... Honestly, I don't want to do any of those. <laughs> I, Psychic Ed Punisher is a little crazy, but we're going to do Star Leon for the uh, destruction here. Star Leon's going to hit the board in attack mode. Boom! Bursting onto the scenes. My my goodness, Captain Carey, we're not going to use that effect in the graveyard. No thanks. And now our opponent gets to play around a little bit here. We'll see what he does. If he does anything, we're not too sure what he's looking at right now. Our opponent is thinking up a storm. Okay, we'll take it. So he doesn't do anything again. He's going to let a Star Leon pop this guy. Uh, we'll actually Star Leon copy his attack, but then it allow us to pop. Destroy a card, yes. So he gets popped. We're at 4,500, which is why I put it in attack mode, because we might as well be. It's before the end of the main phase again. I wonder what this guy is up to, man. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? I gotta know. He hasn't gotten any spell card hits because honestly, I don't know how many spell cards I really have other than, I mean, I guess you could hit extreme jam session, but that card's kind of dead as is. I haven't really used the punk engine much. So this kind of been pure gold pride right now, actually, other than terror top and all the hand traps. What is our opponent thinking about, man? My guy is, uh, he's good. He's using every brain cell in his body. Okay, so he's gonna end on just that. A gold star, I mean, star Leon, unfortunately, at the end of the turn, he's got to make his exit here and replace it with a Leon who was in the graveyard. Leon, though, as we hit the board, guess what that's going to do, buddy? Get, well, I guess I, well, hold on. Let me Leon first. Do we want to bring out Carrie again? Or do I want to bring out Nitro Head? I mean, I guess Carrie's just overall a little better. And then better luck next time for the draw. Maybe we'll leave it. Well, I guess all my Leons are dead, huh? All my Leons are dead. I kind of wish I got a Nitro Head. Oh! We draw to another hand trap. The beautiful part of running 8 million hand traps. That's what you want to see. All right, don't do any of that. End his turn. Yep, yep. All that's pretty up and up and at him. Draw phase, 86 seconds on the clock. We got Deer No. I'm not too sure I want to use that, though. We could go into Psychic and Punisher here, but I'm just not too sure how good that would be. All right, instead, we're just going to play around his one trap card here. Why not? We're going to synchro these two away and play at Emancipator Risen Dragite. I actually don't run any rocks, but we do have some water in the graveyard. Graveyard. We have waters in the graveyard. We have a start your engines. Although to be honest, I don't I need I need a card back in my <laughs> my deck for real. This is getting a little crazy. Hey, he's gotta get out of there. We had the trap in the gate. I'm glad he surrendered. I honestly think he probably could have gotten away from me there, but we'll take it. Honestly, maybe that was the play I should have made before. But good enough. We've got two wins. Oh, man, you can see that I'm still not very good with this deck, though. I, I have to think too often. And honestly, I'm sure I thought wrong. Please let me know down in the comments if you're a goal. Oh, another coin toss making the deck look good. Still, though, we still need to just make sure that we're doing things right, that we get decent hands. We've got two hand traps here. We are going first. So it's not too bad. Foxy Tune is just a little bit, just a little bit unfortunate here. I'm not sure what I would drop for Foxy Tune. Maybe Rollerballer. I guess we're going to go ahead and Foxy Tune here real quick. Or I can add a spell. Yikes, I don't know. Do I want to wog on into a spell effect into... That wouldn't really glue my engines together, though. So what's the play? I guess we're going to Foxy. We're going to Foxy, see what happens. We'll ditch the Rollerballer. It's not too important anyway. Ditch the Rollerballer. I want to keep my hand traps up right now. And then we go into... I mean, Zia Mean is just better. I think. 
We could also just get this out because he, he clearly didn't stop us. I could do something a little crazy right now. Could I? Uh, but then I would use my normal summon. All right, we're just going to Z-Amin. We're going to Z-Amin. We're going to see where this gets us. I think we might have screwed up already. Anytime I have to take a path other than the one I've practiced. <laughs> uh, then I'm just going to go to Shiraka's Eye and I'm just going to use my normal summon on this. So we're just going to use the normal summon on this. Get out Rising Carp. He hasn't played around anything just yet. I don't know if that means he's patient or if he just don't got it. So let's just... Hmm. Mm, I could also play a little different for real. I could play a little different for real. I won't. I won't. We'll get Rising Carp out. We'll get Rising Carp out. We'll stick to the standard line and see how things work. I'm, 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 I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious to see how this will go. Rising Carp hits the field. And again, we're going to go Deer Note. And then we're going to summon our own Wagon. Again, I'm keeping things consistent to my, my line, bro. The one I practice is the one I'm going to do. Let me get my spell card out. Let me get my spell card out. There's no Eradicator Virus here, even though this wouldn't have counted. Activate Jam Extreme Session. You know that's going to come in handy. And now we're going into the Jam Dragon Drive. Wagon, Deer Note. Remember, and I'm saying this mostly for myself. I know you guys got it already, but uh, hey, I need to activate the graveyard effect first. Deer no. That's when we're going to go ahead and target Shiraka's eye. Love that for me. Dragon drive on the back burner. Make sure we're ditching Nyan Nyan. Look at that life points already beautifully at 5,600. Nyan Nyan, don't add it to the hand. Don't make that mistake. But also, I guess I should say that is the moment where if you have Nyan Nyan already in the graveyard, you can go ahead and add, add, um, add your ghost ogre hand trap. That's why I run the one ghost ogre, even if it's not like... Like super good it's like you know sometimes searching ghost ogre it, it, it it's good and then boom yan yan hits the field we have three levels to end an emergency teleport oh my god i got to right let me do it let me keep shiraka's eye on the board for the extra bounce let me show you the other line so we're just gonna add, well i guess i could special summon that but we're not gonna do that can I activate this effect more than once? That would have been crazy, man. That would have been crazy. But we're not. We're just going to go ahead and get the Chariot Carry. Not too worried about anything else. We're just kind of having a good time here. Chariot Carry hits the board, allowing us to go ahead and search some stuff out. We've already got a Rollerballer in the graveyard. Let's get Nyan Nyan out of here. That's going to loop that for us. Better luck next time to the hand. Beautiful. Send a card to the graveyard. I will. I'm going to send... Um, honestly, I kind of feel like sending a Nitro Head. But I guess, hold on. That really wouldn't make too much sense. Should I add the Leon? Uh, there's so. If you want to get greedy, there's so many different plays you could do, right? Like if I add a, uh, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do, dude. Do I send a carry to the graveyard? Let's send a carry to the graveyard. Let's stick to the. Let's stick to the script. Let's not use that. That's better luck next time. So we're gonna add three Leon. Oh wait, we don't get to choose. So this is what I meant when I got a little like, this is a little extra, I'm not gonna lie. So Leon is gonna bring back out my carry. And this is kind of what I meant by being extra. Although, you know, it could have been better. I'm just getting my trap card early. That's kind of why I want carry out here is for the start your engines trap card. And now we have a lot of options. We have a lot of options. We're gonna get a trap card to the hand as well. Cause I do run two of them. Ah, uh, man, we have a lot of options on this next turn. I know our board's not looking that good. Sherry at carry is gonna bounce. This is gonna search our second trap card which again you probably should run one dual link central who is kind of who i learned this deck from uh youtuber go look it up a great great teaching option okay he just got it he only runs one i'm running two because i want to be a little different for real i'm not a little different but I, I like having the ability to search i didn't get my second search that's not how it works well later on in the duel i'm gonna get my second search <laughs> <laughs> Later on in the duel, when I start bouncing carries around, that's the that's the idea for me anyway. Ooh, that unironically sucks, but we're gonna maxi anyway. That unironically does suck for us. We're gonna lose our trap card, so we lose a bit of our negation here. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for sure. Maxi gets to go off though. Extreme Jam Session's also so good. He gets rid of our Start Your Engines. That card is so good. We're not out of it just yet because we still have this uh, Shirakazai play. Um, Danger. I'm not even sure how this works. Shirakazai into the Jam Dragon Drive is going to be a little bit crazy here. It's just, it's a nice double bounce. And then we also have Star Leon for one pop, even though it could be better. Again, the Fusion is also available. If you wanted to bring back Rollerballer, you could. Hey, let me get my draw though. And then you know what? I'm going to Droll and Lockbird him. Let's see him play with the cards in his hand, huh? Hey, hey, do you think you could play with that hand right there buddy go ahead impress me <laughs> go ahead man impress me make my day impress me what you got i know you got 400 defense but what else you got droll and lockbird moment is this the droll and lockbird it's over this is why you want to go first in Yu-Gi-Oh master little baby oh two monsters there huh two monsters let me, let me go ahead and do this real quick so i'm gonna do this to summon out boom we get this guy we get jam dragon drive and now we're gonna bring out the punk boss of our deck 
Ah, uh, amazing dragon. Look at our look at our little guy riding up there. Go ahead, activate this. You guys are going back to the hand. You guys are going back to the head. Yeah, get up, get up out of here. Yeah, go ahead, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing dragon. Look, you can see the guy riding him. I love card art, man. It's before the end of the main phase. I'll let him go ahead then. I'll let him do his thing. Hey, let me draw. Oh, Nitro Head. This duel might be over already. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to special summon Nitro Head here. We might have enough on board to do this anyway. Amazing Dragon, what can you do? We can special summon a punk monster from our, our graveyard. Honestly, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use Amazing Dragon to special summon something. Ah, uh, he's got to leave. He's got to leave. I was just deciding how it was going to go, bro. I was just deciding what monster was going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a pretty good duel for us. Obviously, we kind of droll and lockbirded him. I really want to show a duel where our gold pride monsters are doing the secondhand negating here, but uh, I'm, I'm really, I I'm struggling to get that, but at least you can see the duel. Oh, I was going to say the deck. The deck has other options of winning. I will say a deck like this is where I feel hand traps fit the most because you just want to have all those extra options that just do what you can do. Oh, this is so bad. This is th such a bad hand. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to do anything with this. Oh no, bros. This might be the worst possible hand. This might be the worst possible hand. I'm not even gonna lie. There's no way we can at, like make this cost life points. We should still play it in attack mode just for the draw, but it's kind of already a dead turn, bro. Oh my, oh my god, oh. That's a bad hand right there. This is this is the risky run. All we have is one Ash Blossom hitch. <laughs> this is not the hand you want to see. Hey, if you don't want to kill me, I'll, t I'll more than take that. No, honestly, no. <laughs> like I'm going to make you fight me for it. <laughs> I don't know what else you got, but no. You can keep the cards you have now, man. You're scaring me. <laughs> Honestly, I can't let that happen. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I understand. I understand. You probably... Oh, yep, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. No, I get it. No, I, I get it. Lava Golem. I, yeah. Well, I am going to get a draw here. That's the reason I played this in attack mode. Boom! Quick effect. Let me draw a card. Another... My, <clears throat> my third Ash Blossom. It's okay. Our life points are lower, so gold pride is online. Hopefully we get a... If we can get a carry here, like, I well, I wouldn't be that mad. A carry draw would kind of hit. All right. Okay. Hey, we lived through turn two. Really? That's all I can... Oh, ghost ogre. Now you're seeing why the hand traps can sometimes be a, a double-edged sword here, man. I could go into an eight-star monster, though. Oh, you're just going to fusion something something? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are cooked. At least tell me you have to banish your field. Only one of them? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, my guy. A monster effect or a normal spell trap card while you have cards in your hand. Oh, man, I got to get rid of the cards in his hand. So we can't activate a monster effect. We could beat over it if we have an eight-star monster. Damn dragon drive's not going to work. We only run that one eight-star, man. Well, technically, we would also be able to get a little negation here, but it's just not going to be worth it, especially when he could just beat us over the head. So I, my original play was to go for that, but honestly, it's a hard sell right now to do that. And he would just make it just discard a card anyway. Although we could ghost ogre him and pop that, but then we get, it wouldn't really be worth it to us necessarily. Actually, you know what? I think this is the play. Ghost ogre gets to stay in hand. We have to go for our level eight synchro dragite. And then we're going to have to discard. Oh no. But what if he gets discarded? Wow. I'm literally, I'm literally giving this all up to a prayer, huh? I'm literally doing this all for a prayer. Then I have to activate my effect and then he's going to fall for it. Even though this literally does nothing. I have no rock monsters in the deck, by the way. No rock monsters in the deck this is pretty bad he just has to negate this okay good so that's gonna happen there then we're gonna ghost ogre so the play kind of when the play is playing we get a ghost ogre off on him pop that we don't even have a rock monster in the deck so this means nothing to me now i have to discard one though he only had a kaiju so it's not that bad i didn't have to discard it oh Ooh, I have to discard my Ash Blossom. But this is still like, okay. I mean, you know, we still get a hit off on, on Greffa. We're still doing, you know, as far as what I could have done, uh, who, who agrees? Does anybody agree? Was this the agreeable, uh, was this the agreeable move? This is like a little bit of an anime move, you know? It's not necessarily advancing my plan, but I'm just surviving. This is something my deck can't. And yeah, and yeah, you do have that, huh? Ah. Uh. You had a fiend monster, man. You had to top deck into that, man. Come on, man. You didn't have to. You didn't have to do that to me. Oh, 
Oh, come on. He couldn't have drawn like a something else. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. He's got another Gates of the Dark World, man. Make it once per turn, please. <laughs> please. Well, uh, you know, we tried our best. We tried our best. I think. Wait, no other plays? No other plays? Gold Pride? Gold Pride? Please, Leon. Please, Leon. If you're out there, Leon, save me. Imperm. Oh my god. I guess we said it. I mean, I don't want to get it discarded, so. Oh, Imperm. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. It is once per turn, by the way. I was freaking out for actually no reason. Oh, how could this happen to me? It was a max seat. <laughs> I'm as sad as I ever could be, man. Leon, please, if you're out there, Leon. Oh, we still don't have a shot. Hopefully you drew something useless. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's so over, bros. Oh, it's so over, bros. Oh, oh, oh. Bros, it is so over. I ain't never seen something over like this. 4,100, I'm still alive. Granted, this, oh, bros. No! What? Oh, make it a hard once per turn. I knew it wasn't a once per turn. I knew I was lying to myself. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, man. Damn. I only run one imperm in the deck too. That was such a bad card to get into. Damn. Good duel though, I can't even lie. We just got dark worlded. We just got dark worlded there. We had a bad opening hand. Hey, sometimes that's gonna happen with this deck. I, I need to show y'all the reality of it too. Not a, not every duel is like a ha ha, I have 80 hand traps and I'm gonna win, you know? Sometimes it's ha ha, I have eight hand traps and I'm gonna lose, so. Just gotta keep it real there. Let's get into another duel. Can we win a coin toss? Can we get our spirits up? I think we've won every coin. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about. I think last duel we just drew, we went first and had a, a horrible hand. Every time I say I have a horrible hand with a deck I don't really know though, I'm, oh, oh you also bought the gold pride sleeves? Are you like me? Anyway, I have gold pride better luck next time. Do I even want to mess around with Foxy Tune right now? I'm not sure I really do, to be honest. Like, Imper, Monster Negate, gold pride better luck next time so I can just literally special some. I mean, I'm just going to gold pride it up. Why not? Mmm. Mmm, 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 I should have, I should have Foxy Tuned. I should have Foxy Tuned. That's still okay, though. That's still okay. It's just that now I have to make a very tough decision. Technically... I haven't normal summoned, so with Foxy Tune, I should be able to do the entire route, so it should be okay to ditch Captain Carry. Let's try it out anyway, though. I'm gonna ditch Captain Carry. This could be very bad. I should probably not do this, but I am going to do this. It's greedy, don't stop me. Oh, you didn't stop me? Maybe that means you'll never stop me. Zeamine, normal summon, face up attack, we don't care. Don't stop me. Droll and Lockbird, don't. I know you're playing Gold Pride, you have a lot of hand traps. Oh, no! No, dear God, no! Dear God. All right. So that's unfortunate. We should have done. We should have done. Well, I guess we wouldn't have been able to lower our life points anyway. So keeping. Can I still pay 600 life points? Hey, I'll still. Hey, I'll still take it because I know he's playing gold pride. I got to keep my life points lower than his. And we have Droll and Lockbird. We have Droll and Lockbird. It's not necessarily over yet. We have a monster negate. We have the same thing he did, but I don't have an, a way to stop better luck next time. Rough, 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 rough. Again, playing against another Gold Pride player, we should have known they were going to have... Oh, that's like the best card you want to start with all the time, man. I couldn't get that. So you start with Emergency Teleport, but I can't. All right, we're going to let him activate it first. We're going to Imperm that same as he did to me. This is literally the mirror match. We're both, we're both playing the Gold Pride Punk deck. I haven't actually run into another Gold Pride player. This deck's pretty expensive. I, I, I know I'm looking at another guy who dropped some money on this game right now. Is that, bo is that where we're both going to stop? Who is it? I don't play Madam Spider. We're running different builds, bro. He's adding one punk trap card from deck to hand. Either way, I'm a droll and lockbird that. I'm a droll and lockbird that one, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you had 900 attack, man. Are you really going to you're really going to do this? You're really going to do Well, now I got a top deck. Oh, I didn't even lower my life points to be beneath him too. This sucks. What a mirror match. I don't even know what the trap card does, by the way. Can I see? I know I know that Dangerous Gabu is something that a lot of people do. Uh, negate its effects. That's unfortunate. Okay, so he's going to negate any of my effects. 
So I can special summon this. The question is, can I... It's going to get negated, man. Can he just do it on anything, though? Target. So does that mean he could stop me, though? So I special summon an attack, and then even if I get negated, right? Getting negated is not the worst. I mean, he can only stop me until the end of this turn, and then gain life points. So I'm not even sure he wants to necessarily do this. Let's let's try it. See, I, I guess I don't get running this card, because why would you want to gain life points? Like, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like, I agree. Like, stopping this isn't necessarily good for him. Um, Then I could also special summon this, face-up attack, and then what's stopping me from just beating his ass <laughs> like what's stopping me from just beating his ass like i'm just gonna take the 1200 we're already beneath him in life points so i'm gonna take i'm gonna make him take this too i guess this is why i run the build i do because i'm not really sure why you would want this trap card this trap card's not that good especially because it takes up a deck slot you could draw it like uh it's a little risky although we know he would negate this anyway so do i just want to go into chariot carry for the defense or do i want to go into Gossip Shadow. Gossip Shadow is a little worse because he would just negate this next turn. And I'd be thinking. This trap card do got me thinking, though, so maybe it is pretty good. Negate its effects until the end of the turn. So I kind of want him to negate my effects now. But if he negates my effect, then I can't, I can't go back. So what... What does this card do against Cherry Carry? It's just going to let me get a card into the, the graveyard anyway. But I'm trying to think if there's a better play. I could have gone for like a Zeus kind of deal, but it doesn't seem very good. I guess knowing everything I know, it just makes sense to go into Cherry Carry and get negated anyway. Because then he would still have to gain life points, putting him in a worse spot. So I guess this is okay with me. I'm trying to see if this is actually just bad for him. All right, yeah. Here, negate my effect, bro. Do what you got to do. It's not going to bring him up to my life points, though. I probably shouldn't have swung. It would have made it a little more dangerous for him. Yeah, and then I guess I just end. And because I end, my effect's still negated, right? Yeah, so I get to keep the 2700 defense. Overall, it's not terrible. The thing is, though, I... Oh, he didn't gain the life points back. Never mind. Oh, you can. Oh, only if you control a punk monster. Never mind. I wasn't even reading it. Bro, I really don't be reading. Never mind. Okay, so that's why you would run this deck in this... This card in this deck. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's a bit of a monster negate. Unfortunate that you had another one. I'm probably cooked now. But I would have been cooked regardless because of the monster effect negate. So I guess this duel is exactly the reason you run that card. <laughs> Damn. I feel like I could have gotten out of it, though. I could have, with a, with a slightly better look, I could have gotten out of it. Like, if I had played Foxy Tune first and baited that negate, I could have been in a pretty good spot. Especially if I gold pride better luck next time. I guess you would always want to keep this for a second. I learned a hard lesson, but you know, you got to learn it. Now we're going to see the play from the opposite side of the board here, and it's going to be rough. It's going to suck looking at it, boys. Extreme Jam Session. We've seen this combo from the other side. We really have. It's just a matter of, you know, it was it was his turn. We even went first. That's the crazy thing is we went first, but I just I, I picked a bad way to play my spells. I picked a bad way to play. I thought I could get away. I got greedy, and now we got to pay the price. His internet. Oh, don't let that internet go out. Don't let that internet go out. Oh, oh no, he did it right. Ooh, uh, he got me nervous. I thought he did the little combo, bro. Oh, I thought he did it wrong. Ooh, I thought you messed up, bro. I really did. I thought you made an eensy weensy mistake right there. Huh? You brought back Rising Carp? Is Rising is bringing back Rising Carp better? Why would you not want to bring out like your tuner that you could go into uh, this with? I guess because you get Nyan Nyan, you you maybe you feel confident anyway. What is the route, bro? What is this route? D is this better than my route? Oh, he's just going into it right away. Okay, he's he's more of a punk focused player. Okay, all right, maybe maybe this is the route. I don't know. It's probably better. Uh, what do you think? What do we think? Six hundred attack. You're gonna beat me down with six hundred attack, man. Ooh, second attack. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe this is the better route for for the the kill. Oh yeah, this is the better route for the kill. Okay, I, I see, I see. I, hey, you know what? I learned something though. So I'm gonna get mine more than I get got, man. Now, now when I know I can go for a little kill route, now I know a little kill route when I know they don't got any monsters in hand. Do what you gotta do. GG's. Well, we got to see the gold prides go off on the other side of the board. So I'm still comfortable ending the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see the gold prides again, honestly, I didn't even get to use pinballer. So I'm going to do another video on it. <laughs> you know, hey, I got to do another video. Hopefully you liked and enjoyed it. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, definitely make sure to like, subscribe, comment, check out other videos should be on your screen. I'll see you in the next one.